Welcome to my YouTube channel, Living Linux. The question of today, what is better than a Pinebook Pro? Well, two Pinebook Pros. I wanted to get my hands as soon as possible on the Pinebook Pro, but that also meant that the first batch was only available with the ISO keyboard. And you can recognize it uh, with the enter key. And when you look at the character you get with shift 2 with the ISO keyboard, that is the double quote. But today I received another Pinebook Pro, but this time with the NC keyboard. So here they are together. And as I said, you can recognize it as it has a different entry key. And also when you do Shift 2, you get the add sign. And now we'll just focus on the Pinebook Pro with the ANSI keyboard. And now that there are two models of the Pinebook Pro and some of the NC uh, models, they still need the uh, keyboard and trackpad uh, firmware upgrade. So that is what we're going to do here. And I'm going to connect oh, <clears throat> my mouse again. And also my foldable keyboard again, just to be sure. Uh, I'll put the link with all the information on how to update uh, also in the description of the video. Okay, so it starts with the update for the ISO version, but in this case we have the NC version.
and here you can also see NC with the commands and then when you have ISO you should put ISO there Oh yeah, this is like really really fun. Oops. Mm. Because the uh, keyboard is now behaving a little bit weird and perhaps I should use the um, external keyboard but yeah the only thing you really need now is just copy and paste so it's not really needed to have another keyboard so far but who knows oh whoops yeah that's the funny thing when you press enter then it does a backspace so uh, in this case you do need uh, an external keyboard. Yes, this is very funny <laughs> when you're using the keyboard on the Pinebook itself then you really don't know what you're typing so yeah you really need an external keyboard And the trackpad isn't working either, so you also definitely need a mou external mouse. Oh, whoops. Ah, keep making that same mistake. And now we can use the keyboard 
on the Pinebook Pro itself. Okay. Now there's still one thing you have to do. Yes, restore the session. Well, that's not what I meant with what you have to do. Um, because now... When you press Shift 2, it should give you the add sign, but it's still configured as an ISO keyboard. And we're going to change that in the control center. And then keyboard. Uh, layouts and here you see English UK so we're going to add country United States English US and here you can s probably see that the add sign is shift 2. So we're going to add this one. I'm going to remove the English UK. And when we do shift 2, we get the add sign. So now it's all done. I'm also going to apply the other stuff like the Unicode fonts and the color emojis. EXFAT. Um, also going to do some investigation on NTFS. But for now, uh, I've shown you how to set up the Pinebook Pro with the ANSI keyboard. And I hope to see you again soon in my next video on Living Linux. Until next time.